high peaks, it's tears back in all squat box once again. And uh, I'm here to talk about infinity. Um, I've been watching some you know, science pro programs by the BBC, Horizon. Pro it's, it's Horizon's 50th year, it's 50th anniversary. Horizon, the BBC program, Horizon. Fantastic fucking program. Not every week, but you know, it's like you know, every week Horizon had a program on it, and it's like I used to watch it adamantly as a child, you know. And you know, Wes was an adult because there's all this other stuff going on. But uh, I was just going back over some old stuff there, and there was this program on about infinity, and uh, well, basically, it's all about numbers. and. Uh, Basically, they were talking about you know, when, as a child, did you understand that numbers go on forever? You know, I must say that when I was a kid, uh, the discovery of the number zero, and not not the discovery of the number zero, but it's it's <laughs> the impact of the number zero on numbers was fucking amazing to me. As a child, I, I must have learned that when I was like fucking three or four or some fucking thing, you know. Because, uh, probably four or four, because uh, I was taught to count to ten before I went to school. You know, my mother taught me, taught me my ABCs and how to count to, at least, you know, to ten, but I'm not sure I could count higher than that before I went to school. I was always quick and bright when I was at school because, because I, I, I think I was taught that stuff at home. I can't be certain of it, but, but I know for a fact when I understood the impact of zero, you know, uh, with all the number sets that, you know, you would, when I was a child, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what comes next? Well, it's, it's one again, isn't it? Except it's not, it's not one. It's, it's ten, you know, and, uh, and then you, you ask, well, what comes before one? And you're told it's, it's zero. You make that connection, it's like one and zero makes ten, you know, and it's like, oh, oh my God, you know. And then, and then the numbers just go on. One and two, one and three, one and four, one and five, yeah. Twenty, two and zero, there's a zero again. And then you're willing, you can, you can actually count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. What comes after 90? Well, you just add another zero. <laughs> and then you've got 100. It's all, oh, so all I've got to remember is the names of numbers that get bigger, but they also, nearly always, the first bigger number that you get after you get the, the top number that you know from 1 to 9 and a 0 and a 0 and a 0 and a 0 and, a zero. and then you know <laughs> then you can count in hundreds then you can count in thousands then you can count in millions then you can count in billions and it's like then you get into these huge gigantic numbers that you actually have to give names to <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, you know, oh, big fucking names. And that's when you get into mathematics, you know. And, and even as a child, when I was like five and six, I was always asking, well, so what's the biggest number? What's the name of this biggest number, you know? And I don't know if I was a strange kid. I probably was. I'm a strange person. You can probably tell that, you know. <laughs> from this video, you know. But yeah, um, I was just always asking questions about that, you know. So, how many zeros is there? And it's like, well, well there's as many zeros as you need, you know. Does it always have a one in front of it first? Well, it's got to have a number in front of it first. Doesn't have to be a one. <laughs> this, this is what also gets people confused when they get into mathematics. Doesn't always need to be a one. Oh, so there's other numbers, so it could be, no, it doesn't have to be two. 
or a three or a four or a five or a six or a seven or eight or a nine. There's other numbers that can be put in there. But you're only getting into that <laughs> when you understand mathematics and calculus and stuff like that because that's where it gets really strange. That's when numbers become magical. <laughs> you know, oh shit. Numbers really become magical when you stop thinking in ones and twos and threes and fours and fives and all my zeros after them, you know. Oh, that's, that's really where numbers become magical things. It's like poetry. That, that's when you start to hear symbols. Symbols, you know, it's like a written word in one letter. But there's one letter that you don't get taught in your ABCs. It's all different shit because it all came from an ancient language. You know what I mean? An ancient language that doesn't fucking exist anymore. Except in mathematics. And then you go, shit, that fucking amazing. You know, I don't have to learn French or German. I just have to learn math and then I know a new language. You know, and then that, no, no, no. There's not just one language of math. There's fucking hundreds of them. And then you go, shit. So I can either learn German and French and Italian, <laughs> or I can learn mathematics, but I've got to learn fucking what the other different languages. Yeah, well, well, that's basically the way the world is. It's a strange world full. <laughs> full of fucking fatality fucking infinities. And infinities that go off in the fucking future, you know what I mean? Oh, I loved that time in my life when I was just discovering the beauty and the, just the, the mind exploding fucking beauty of, of being human, of being fucking human and, and being educated, getting educated, being interested in learning something more than what you fucking already know. It just blew my mind that there was all that shit out there to learn, you know? <sighs> and then I ended up in a shit school where half the teachers were brilliant and I could learn something from them and half the teachers were fucking fucked out and I went, fuck all. And if you're in a school where most of your teachers or all your teachers are all fucked out, you're going to learn nothing. Nothing more than you could learn at home sitting playing fucking knuckle fucking stones and talking shit and reading the one book, you know what I mean? And I suppose a lot of people in America think that's all you fucking need. But there's a lot of people in Britain and Europe that fucking think the same shit. The Pope's a guy you should listen to and the Bible's something you should read. Put your Bible down. Go to a library. You know, I don't know if any of you know what that word means. Library, you know what I mean? It's a place where there's hundreds of books full of the knowledge that mankind has fucking collected and put together over 10, 20,000 fucking years, you know. Uh, but if you just want to read one book and be satisfied with that, then fuck you, you know what I mean? I've got no interest in you, you know what I mean? If you're young, if you're about anywhere between 12 and 15, I suggest you stop listening to the people around you, unless they're giving you the same advice I am, and you start going to libraries and looking up books, asking the little librarian there at the front, you know, can you give me a book on mathematics? Can you give me a book on calculus? Can you give me a book on physics? Can you give me a book on, you know, Geology, geography, you know what I mean? So, you know, go, go there and ask for these things. Ask for the things you've never been given, you know what I mean? Ask for the shit that your teacher keeps talking about but you don't know anything about. Get a book on it and fucking read it. Absorb it. Read it three or four times, you know what I mean? Read it once a night, you know what I mean? For fucking seven days. And then go and ask your fucking teacher about it about the things you don't understand it until they can explain it to you so you understand it and then you will have an explosion in your mind of fucking hell I get it, I get it, now I understand now I, now I know what these people were doing when they were writing that shit and it's like 
that's what you've got to do to understand the world we live in. You've got to understand the way that people seen it before you, the way they, they explain it to you, the way they see it, and then try and get someone to, to decipher that so that you can understand it with your limited vocabulary or whatever as you've got, you know. So, you know, your mind opens up and goes, oh, I got it, oh, shit, I understand that. And you see the world as a beautiful fucking place you've never seen before. It is, you know, at that age, between 12 and 15, that's when you open your mind. That's when you should be asking the questions that never get answered, never get asked. I mean, ask them, get them answered, and then you will be on your way to becoming one of the people who change the fucking world. Because the people who sit there and say, not interested, don't care, oh, I want to know is where my next McDonald's coming for you, you know what I mean? My next ice cream, and whether I'm going to have a car when I'm 17, who the fuck cares, you know what I mean? You could have a fucking rocket by the time you're fucking 40, you know what I mean? Built it yourself if you go to the library and read some fucking books. Or you can sit and hope that your parents are going to buy you an ice cream today. If you're nice, it's up to you. Make the choice. Make the fucking choice.